I decided that I was going to participate in Trickell's 2020 Animal Portrait Contest. And I'm unwrapping my two panels that I'm going to paint. One is a watercolor panel and one is a an acrylic panel and I'm excited to test them both out. The watercolor ground panel actually uses core watercolor ground. Um, and just as a side note here, there are two different watercolor grounds you can use to do these things. I just went ahead and got the panel. Here are the rules of the gameplay. I take a picture of the panel and I import it into Procreate. And here you can see I'm sketching out my design on the panel. Uh, this is pretty much how I work most of the time these days. Digital is where it's at. Then I print out my design once I'm happy with it and I transfer it to my watercolor panel. This is the lo-fi transfer. Of course, here's my little buddy Lucy helping me out. And then I take an eraser and kind of erase the dark spots. Now I'm going in with the paint. I've only used uh, this core watercolor ground once before, uh, so this was a bit of an experiment to see how I would like this on this panel. And it turns out I really liked it a lot, so I'm probably going to be using a lot more watercolor ground on wood panel and also getting some of their pre-gessoed or pre-grounded panels in the future. So here I'm just kind of putting in some boundaries and dark areas, uh, the eyes and the nose, just to start bringing life to this painting. Lucy's about three years old and what's ironic is that she's sitting in a Trakel box actually with a bunch of paper stuffing. Uh, if there's a box, she's not going to resist it. It's pretty much a guarantee she's going to jump into it. She's just that kind of girl. So as you can see, I have really got the eyes in here to add some life to her start lightly filling in other areas to give them definition. Making sure I've got some good contrast too. My strategy for working on these watercolor panels is that I use a little less water, maybe a little more pigment, sometimes to make sure that uh, the pigment gets in there. These do not absorb the same as watercolor paper, obviously, so it feels a little bit different, but I feel like I'm really digging this core watercolor ground um, because it seems a little more natural. And if you really want to give yourself a task, go ahead and try to paint crumpled paper. Uh, to paint and draw it is uh, fun, but it's also quite the challenge. I kept getting lost in my crinkles, but I really did enjoy uh, the challenge of painting paper. This contest goes until September, so if you want to participate in this pet portrait uh, project, go ahead and go to trickell.com and you can pick up your own panel and paint your own pet. It's really fun to see who all participates and what kind of pets people have. So check it out on Instagram or go to their website and get yourself a panel.
So for my white whiskers here, I'm using gouache. And sometimes you have to go over it a couple times, but it, it did a pretty good job at giving her little whiskers. It's kind of like the icing on the cake here. Now I have another panel to work on, so you'll probably see another video with my other cat. Most certainly cannot play favorites, right? And there you have Miss Lucy. Lucy.